60 years ago when the Boston Wharf Company decided after the war to uh, herald uh, and attack, be at attention for uh, what was about to happen in the Boston Wharf District and to attract attention, they uh, erected this ruby red giant uh, and, uh, and it did its job in those days for the industrial mill buildings that surround us. Uh, uh, with uh, the meticulous help of, of uh, our partners, the Archon Group, uh, in particular John Madison and his team, uh, and my team, uh, this sign was historically and meticulously uh, restored to exactly the way it was and the same color it was when it was, uh, when it was looming br brilliantly over the, uh, over the city, uh, even as late as 20, 25 years ago. Well, it's time, uh, it's time to relight the sign. the beginning of something that's been, you know, a long time in coming in the Four Point Channel area. Now there's a critical mass over here that, that really aggregates into something special. It's great to be a part of a new neighborhood. There's so many great things happening here. I can't wait to see what's going to happen over the next few years with the restaurants that come in, new condo living, and it's really going to be an exciting place to be. I think this area is long overdue. The city's behind it. And I think we're due for a renaissance here in this area of the city. So we move across the channel, which I think is really the new frontier here. And I think this neighborhood and what Tony and his firm are doing is absolutely one of the most exciting things that could happen to any city. And I recognize that you have a tremendous architectural integrity and a critical mass of historic architecture of a certain style. Soho has that with cast iron. South Beach has that with Art Deco. This has it with the brick and beam. So that in itself has an aura about a neighborhood that is irreplaceable. I think it's going to be the next hotspot.